Hi, my name is Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project, and I'm here with George Hathaway of Hathaway Research International. And he has drawn a diagram here on the whiteboard, and this is of what, George? This is uh, Hathaway Research's EVO chamber uh, that we uh, designed uh, in conjunction with Ken Shoulders many, many years ago, um, and used here at the lab as well as at uh, Hal Putoff's uh, Austin uh, laboratory, uh, where uh, Scott Little um, at, at Al's, Hal's lab was doing considerable work uh, trying to show whether um, there was an energetic increase somehow in what Ken was trying to do. In this case, um, we de or I devised a system where we could uh, quickly test the uh, effect of uh, EVOs on various targets. And the claim was that the energy that was deposited on a target from these little EVOs, there's a little yellow track of EVOs, uh, was, uh, or electron valley de, was greater than the energy put into the system. The energy was put into the system. In this case, the system was a glass tube about one half inch of that diameter. You could see about eight inches long. So it was something like that. Quartz or borosilica? It was just borosilica. Okay. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it was only a containment. It also had a port in case you wanted to evacuate it mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to a, a high extent. Sometimes evacuation helped, sometimes it didn't. Um, in any event, it contained the apparatus, <clears throat> which in essence was a groove, as you can see, between mm -hmm. two phenolic uh, wedges mm -hmm. and the high voltage, which was from a bloom line capacitor, which we can see later, um, was on the order of a couple of thousand volts, but very fast rise time. How did you achieve, achieve that rise time? Through this special device called a bloom line capacitor mm -hmm. um, that uh, was specifically designed for very low current, high voltage, extremely fast rise times. And that's what Ken needed to boil off the uh, EVs, whatever they were, from a, a, a mercury coated tip mm -hmm. on the edge, in our case, of a, a, a copper copper piece, we could use pins, mm -hmm. we could use all sorts of any, anything that tapered to a very fine tip, mm -hmm. and you could cop, uh, uh, coat it with, uh, um, with mercury, for instance. And so that's up at this end. There's one of the high voltage terminals from the bloom line capacitor, passes through the end, there would be a cork or something like that, or it's, it's it's Somewhere sealed, is it? It's sealed, yeah. Have you got a vacuum on that? It can have. Right, uh, yeah. not necessarily is Not necessarily, okay. and could be low. Could, mm -hmm. we ne because of the design, it wasn't ultra high. It was in the order of, say, 10 to minus 4 mm -hmm, tor or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, and these phenolic pieces were uh, machined so that there was a sort of a channel mm -hmm. uh, down here. That's for guiding the exotic for vacuum guiding, objects. That's correct. Yeah. And there's a sheet here in purple of Kapton, okay. which uh, uh, prevented the EVs from um, contacting this bottom plate. Mm -hmm. This is a copper plate here, <clears throat> excuse me, and the copper plate was attached to the negative or the ground mm -hmm. of uh, the bloom line capacitor. So in operation, you would set up the bloom line uh, to almost discharge, and then when you were, re when you were ready, your target was uh, fixed in position on the end of this, um, this face. Uh, you'd fire the bloom line, and you'd see this white streak. You mm -hmm, couldn't mm -hmm. see anything individual. Uh, mm -hmm. It was too fast. Um, and then there would be a blob on the target. So you saw like a, a meteor trail? Something like that, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say. Um, this was many decades <clears throat> ago, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a complete uh, memory of it. We do have some uh, information I can dig up somewhere else. Wonderful. Anyway, uh, this was uh, one of several uh, versions of uh, Ken's uh, 
test setup. Mm -hmm. So what we did was take a look at, we knew what the energy was. Going in to the capacitor yeah. or? Well, coming, going into the capacitor and then coming out of the yeah, capacitor. Yeah. Um, and going into the system. And we then could take what the damage was in the in the target, mm -hmm. and usually it was alumina or something like that, mm -hmm. and take a look at the size and the depth and uh, the splash and things like that, and make a rough estimate of the uh, of the energy that would have taken place or would have needed to take place to make that physical damage. If we were to assume a standard yes, so thermal or yes, whatever processes, like that, yeah, yeah, processes and compared to the input mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's basically what we were, we had done. Well, thank uh, you very much for that. So good. so can we have a go and look at the uh, blue line capacitor? Uh, just a sec. So this is the? The blue line capacitor. So how does this work? Um, this is a uh, high voltage. When I say high voltage, it's moderate for us. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, one, 2,000 volts. It has a Kapton film, which represents the dielectric between the two plates of a, a capacitor. In fact, there's two capacitors. And the- uh, It's got the same on the other side, same, right? Yeah. Essentially the same on the other side. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go through the details, but one side is charged and the other side, um, or the whole capacitor is charged through this resistor. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a spark gap here as part of the circuit, which can be adjusted until it overvolts, or the capacitor and it uh, over, discharges, and at, discharges that at that point. Discharges at that point. Discharges. It doesn't see the resistor because it's too fast, and discharges the entire voltage uh, between the plates onto these arms. And it's between these arms that that the tube glass that you were talking about. Is, yes. yes. Wow. Okay. Is, is positioned. It's a very small device. It carries almost no energy. Um, but it can deliver what energy it has in a very short... Very short time. That's yeah, what it's yeah, designed yeah, for. Yeah. Fantastic. So that is your device for testing the concepts of Ken Shoulders. Yes.